Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to add a donation, follow, subscriber, resub, uh, bit donations, all of those type of alerts that you see on people's live streams. I'm going to show you guys how to add those into your OBS as well as how to change the different settings for them, including different variations uh, that you may need. For example, uh, lately, I've added scary dono sounds, meaning if somebody donates an exact amount of money via PayPal to me uh, or using Twitch bits, uh, it signals different scary sounds, you know, jump scare type sounds uh, to scare me while I've been playing horror games for the month of October on our live streams. I've had several of you guys ask me how I do that, so I thought this video would help you out with that as well as just how to set them up in general. All right, so let's go ahead and roll the intro and then we'll jump into it. All right, guys, as I said, welcome back to the channel. Before we actually jump into how to add Streamlab uh, notifications to our OBS studio, I just want to quickly mention that if this video helps you out, make sure you hit the thumbs up button as that helps me out tremendously. Also, if you're not subscribed and you like videos like this one, uh, go ahead and click the red subscribe button down below as well as ring the bell next to it to be notified when I post new videos. Lastly, if you have any additional questions or there's something I mentioned in the video that you don't quite understand, uh, I do stream myself over on Twitch every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday evening. Uh, I'll put the link here on screen now as well as down in the description below. And last but not least, uh, if I'm not streaming and you have any questions, make sure you check out our Discord. It's growing pretty quickly. Uh, a link for that will be down in the description as well, but it's a great place to get some additional help and resources if you're a small streamer starting out and, and need some additional help. All right, with all that said, let's go ahead and jump in. I'm gonna try to get straight to the point so this doesn't take up too much of your guys' time. Uh, so this is actually pretty easy. Uh, I use Streamlabs for all of my uh, alerts and everything, for my donations, just, just overall for everything, I use Streamlabs. Uh, a competitor that you might've heard of is called Stream Elements. It doesn't matter which one you use, it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, but for this video, I am going to be using Streamlabs. So we're going to go ahead and go into our dashboard. And now if you are using, you see here, download Streamlabs OBS, you could use OB, uh, Streamlab OBS, which is just a version of OBS. Uh, as I said, for this tutorial, we're using OBS Studio. If you do use Streamlabs OBS, it does have integration directly with this so that you can have the alerts and everything without having to manually add it in. However, I do think uh, if you're a new streamer, you're much better off just going with OBS Studio and sticking with it and learning it. Uh, while it might be a little more complicated in the beginning, uh, overall, it's, it's a better option. So, using OBS Studio, but we still want to use Streamlabs for the rest of our stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and do that then. So once we're in the dashboard, we're going to go ahead and click on our alert box. Our alert box is what's going to give us all of the different alerts on our stream. So, for example... Uh, when we get into here, you can see that the first thing that you need to do is add your alert box to your stream. So it tells you right in this box that there's a URL here. You can click this button to show it. I won't because this is a URL that you should not be sharing with anybody else. It uh, has some personal information and stuff in it. Uh, so you can basically take this URL, add it into OBS as a browser source, uh, and then that's going to allow it to pop up on your live stream. So we're going to copy the URL. Alert box URL copied. And then we're going to go into our OBS studio. And we have our scene set up, let's say. So here I have a brand new scene. There's nothing in here. What you'll want to do is click on the plus under your sources. So you already have your webcam in here. You already have your game source running in here. Uh, so you'll click the plus button down here and click browser to add a browser source. So we can create a new. You can name this whatever you want. As you can see down in my existing, I have it called Streamlab Alerts. Just for the example, we'll call it alerts. I will end up deleting it. But once we add it in, it says you get you get this prompt. It says you just added the browser source. So here where it says URL, that's where you're going to want to paste that URL that we just got from the Streamlabs alert box section of Streamlabs website. The one that's hidden here that we copied the URL from. So we're going to paste that there. And then our width and our height, we're going to go ahead and set it to our stream. So for example, I do a 19, I do a 1080 stream. So that would be 1920 by 1080. Uh, and then we're going to post or paste our URL. And then we're going to hit okay. 
So now we have it pasted in. So now the next big thing you want to do is you want to make sure that this is on the top of all the rest of your sources. Uh, because you want your alerts to pop up over everything else. Your game, your webcam, all that stuff. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and make sure it's dragged to the very top of your sources for the scene that you added it to. So then once we do that, uh, you now have it set up. That's, that's all you need to do for the default things like donations, Streamlabs merch, uh, CloudBot redemptions, which I don't use CloudBot. I don't use Streamlabs merch currently. Uh, Prime subscription gift, Twitch follows, Twitch subs, Twitch hosts, raids, bits, all of that stuff will now pop up on your stream. So then the question becomes, well, how do I change that stuff? Well, it's actually on this same page over on Streamlabs. Under the alert box, you have all the different global event types. So global event types are just all those things I just went through, which we can see on the screen. Donation, merch, cloud bot, prime, whatever you're using. If you want to turn, turn any of them off, you can, but if you're not using them, they're not going to pop up anyway, so it's really not a big deal. So then to change specific things with them, we're just going to click on one of them. So for example, we click on donation and here we have the preview background color, what event it is, which is donation. And then down here under general and donation is how to change how everything looks. So for donation, you can select your layout. You can have it so the image is on top and then the text is below it. You can have it where the image is shown with the text over top of the image, or you can have it shown where the image is shown and then the text next to it, as well as a, mer a myriad of other options, including changing what image or video you're using or GIF, changing the audio file and all of that, uh, font weights, everything, font colors, text animation. Uh, you can change all of that here. So then, uh, and then anytime you want to test, let me drag this off screen for a second so you guys can see here on the thing. So anytime you want to test, you do have this send test button right here. So if we click on the send test button, you guys will see there, you guys see there that it just popped up a test donation of $96, I think, I wish. Uh, with the person's username. So as you adjust your settings, you can hit that send test button that you guys just saw here, and you can actually see that it's working inside OBS. Whether you're streaming or not, you can run these tests to set things up. All right, so then the question becomes, once you have those all set up by going through the different ones, you can do that for follows, for subs, and again, you can test each one. So for example, you guys saw for my donations, there's a car that comes into the screen. You know, I do like an 80s synth wave, synth wave type vibe. So you can see it's a car. But now if I switch, which you guys can't see, but I switch to my follows and I hit the test for that one, you can see it's a little bit different image and everything and a little, little bit different layout. So this time it's a Atari game controller, old fashioned Atari game controller. And you can do that with all of the different global event types. Then what you can do is you can go uh, a touch further and you can add different alert variations. So let's say you have donations set up in here and you have a certain one like that car that appears, but now you wanna set up for that if you do a specific, somebody does a specific donation amount, uh, then it triggers something differently than that default. So you can actually click on this add alert variation at the top here. You can name it. So for example here, I have uh, just them called scary for my scary donos that I was talking about for the month of October. I have it called scary and then what the amount is that somebody would have to donate. So we'll go in here and we'll just do a test. So test one, two, three, we'll call it. And then you choose event types. So choose events this applies to. So we want it to happen to like, let's say we're setting up a custom donation amount to trigger a custom thing. We'd go donation. Now, maybe you also want it to trigger whether they do a donation via like PayPal or whatever you're using for donations or via Twitch bits. We can click both of those. So it happens whether they use uh, Twitch's bits or whether they use a donation. And then we set up our conditions for each one. So under donation, the so you can have it do it randomly. If somebody randomly donates at random times, this will happen, this event. Or if it's at least a certain amount, or if it's an exactly a certain amount, if it's the largest for this particular stream that you're doing, or if it's in cryptocurrency. So typically the most commonly used one is if it's exactly this amount. 
So let's say we do exactly this amount and we add $6.66. It's a scary dono. The devil's number works for that. So now we also, so we did that. You can add multiple conditions if you want. But now we also, because we did donations and Twitch bits, we need to set the condition for Twitch bits as well. So we'll do bits uses exactly. Now here, there's no decimal because, you know, it's in bits. But we still want it the same amount, 666. And then we just hit save. So now once we do that, it's going to add it here to our, uh, in our variations below our global event types, as you can see all mine, test one, two, three right here. So we'll click on that just like we did with the global. And now you have all the options over here. So for example, for our image, we could go in and we could choose, I already uploaded some, we could choose a scary image like this girl screaming, for example. And then we could choose a sound. I already have some different scary sounds. Uh, we could do something like, don't freak out. It's going to be loud for you guys. So, you know, don't, don't, don't die here. Uh, maybe we'll do like, uh, where's it at? Let me see. Let me see. Maybe we'll do this. I'm sorry. I just blew out your guys' eardrums, but <laughs> we do that. So we select it. Then we can adjust our sound volume. So maybe we only want it at 5% because that's loud as balls. Uh, you can, again, change anything else you want to change. But then we're going to hit save settings up here. And once again, I'm going to drag this off screen and just hit the send test to show you guys. We can test that it's working. The screen's not as bad there. Thank God. Uh, but you guys can see there it popped up on the screen. You guys can adjust it however you want. Uh, but there you go. Just to kind of give you guys the example and again you can set up as many of these as you like so you can see i have different dono sounds i have a cut i have about five for each kind of amount so i have five scary sounds that cost a dollar something i have five scary sounds that cost three dollars and something and i have five scary sounds that cost five dollars and something just a great way to add you know kind of uh fun and stuff to your stream in, in different ways uh, also encourages more donations i will say adding them uh, in different variations and stuff that people can do definitely increases people donating money to your stream so just fyi uh, not that it's all about that but it, it does help both you guys and people get fun out of it so now i'm gonna go ahead and delete this one because i don't want to actually use it because i have mine set up but there you go that's actually that's it that's how you set up alerts in obs studio so actually setting it up was pretty easy you just go into Streamlabs, sign up for an account, make your account. You go into the alert box like we did on the left-hand corner there, and you copy that URL as a browser source to OBS. Now, one thing, even though we added it as 1920 by 1080, you can still adjust. So if you just want them to kind of be over here in the corner of the screen, you can, you can you know, adjust the alerts you know, using the red box here, however you want it. You can have it take up the full screen if you want, but that's totally up to you. You can move it wherever you like. I typically have mine in the top left of my screen, just the way I have my live stream set up, but boom, you're golden. So that's how you do it. Pretty easy, right? Not too hard, not too hard. A lot of people seem to get confused by it, but it's actually pretty simple to do uh, once you know how to do it. So I hope that helps. Again, if you are using Stream Elements or Stream Labs OBS or OBS Live, any of the other different ones, it's pretty much the same exact way to set it up. Like I said, the one nice thing about Stream Labs OBS is that it does integrate directly with your Stream Labs account so that it'll set all that up for you automatically. Uh, however, my personal recommendation is use OBS Studio. It's the best for a reason. All right. Hope that helped. Again, if this video helped you guys out, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. That helps me out tremendously. Again, if you have any additional questions, need any additional help, uh, you can check out my live stream Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturday evening. Link down in the description. And also, like I said, make sure you jump over, uh, find the link down in the bottom to our Discord because there's a lot of people there that can help you out as well as obviously I'm not always available to help everyone. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it. And until next time. Peace out, everybody. Uh -huh.